Hello, I'm Etrissim, and welcome to From the Depths Building Time. I don't know, I'm just gonna call it building for now. Um, right, so we're building today. We need to take a time out from the, uh, the rigors of the campaign to actually figure out what we're gonna build and build it. Without the pressure of the campaign, also that we can build it without the rocking backwards and forwards and all that jazz. So, we need to build, effectively, a supply barge. And I was thinking we could just build a gigantic boat, which would be like an oil tanker, and that would be our supply barge. But then I was like, well, no. No. We don't have to be that boring. We don't have to be that cliche. We can do better than that. We deserve better than that. So we're gonna build... Wait for it. Drum roll. That was a terrible drum roll. Um, we're gonna build a supply blimp. Because why not? Just, that's pretty much my reason. Um, because why not? Right. So, I would like to build. I would like to build a uh, new new object vehicle. Do 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 do. Mr. Sandman, play me a song, Mr. Sand. There we go. And then blocks. Wood block. Wood beam. And of course it's going to be mostly upward because A is light, B we have a lot of it, C... I don't think many things are going to be using that much natural, so yeah, that's, that's what we're going to be using. There we go. So that is the inside of our blimp. It's maybe a little bit larger than it really needed to be. How much does it cost? Uh, only 2,000 natural? No, 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 you're kidding. That must be the wrong, yeah, this is, this, that's the wrong one. This one, there we go. 66,000 natural. Um, I might end up shaving some off the end. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't need to be quite that large. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit larger than I was planning. Uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, right, so... There we go. Oh, look at it! It fragmented and everything. That's kind of cool. Uh, right. So now... We have to look at the difference in the widths here. Right, one, one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Heli blade. Air. Heli blade spinner. Um. Well, that said, with extensions, ooh, yeah, because we'll want to extend it at least a few more layers, so one, two, three, four, that's it, one, two, one, two. That should make it large enough. So then we go for uh, extension, one, two. And then we should be able to get the blades on. So, one, two, three, four. It doesn't really matter about which way they're orientated. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. And one, two, three, four, one, two, one. Oh, only one. That's fine. One, two, three, four. One, two, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, one. Okay. And so we should be able to just copy this design and basically paste it uh, pretty much anywhere. 
So I can go prefabs, white prefab. I would like you to be height of three, width of one, two, three, four, one, two, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, one. And in theory, this should encompass the heli bl Hey, which it appears to do. I'm just happy when things finally go right. Now, always up fraction is really important when you're doing these sort of things because always up fraction basically means it will never push sideways. It will never push you down. It will only push you up, which is great because it just means this thing is going to be like stable as a rock. So just remember, when you're making your blimps, always use the always up fraction. It is your friend. Right. So engine and resources. So I think I'll just dump the resources in first. Um, especially considering how ridiculously large this thing is. You know what? I might even put a refiner in here. Because why not? Again. It's stupid. It's just crazy large and I love it. It's awesome. Uh, that's pretty much my reasoning. Uh, so resources, resources, resources. Raw resources, I would like natural crate large. And unfortunately, this doesn't work well with mirror lines, as you can see, because technically it's off-centered. So you see that doesn't look nice. So I'm going to have to turn the mirror line off, which is a pain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How much can that store? Let's take it to a million. There we go. So effectively, you've got two million there. I can probably increase this. In fact, yeah, let's just increase it, right? Let's just go the full length. Five million natural. Five million metal. 1.3 million crystal. Scrap, also 5 million. This might be somewhat excessive. I might have to cut it down. So that's a lot of resources. Just saying. Uh, way too many resources, really. Uh, we need an engine. And we need fuel. So let's go process resources. I would like... Honestly, we could probably do with having um, ammo barrels here as well. Just to replenish people really fast, but I... Don't really see the point. Um, so for now, let's just stick with a good old-fashioned fuel. And yeah, let's actually put a mirror line back down. Boop. We're currently carrying uh, 1.2 million fuel, which I don't even think is enough. This thing is designed to like basically resupply entire command groups. Like, no joke, this thing is meant to have a stupid amount of fuel. Um, I could chop it in half again in length. Yeah, let's do that. Leave it with two spinning heli blades. Should be enough. Can always increase them if not. Bye. Now, I deliberately left a little bit more on this end than I really should have because I wanted this end to be the one that was mine, so I made this slightly bigger. There we go. Lovely jubbly. So it can only hold half of what it originally could, but that's not really a problem for me, because uh, that was crazy much anyway. Um, so what I might do instead is just raise these like a little bit higher. I can't of course do that with the mirror line down which is annoying as hell.
And now to put the engine in. Uh, let's just quickly ch check the weight. 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Oh, they're in weigh one. We're probably fine. I mean, metal weighs 0 0.4 for a single block, so those take up eight blocks each because it's uh, two by two by two. So yeah, we're probably fine. I mean, wood weighs half the amount. So yeah, yeah, we're, we're probably okay. Uh, now I'm probably gonna still use a metal block for the attachment to the engine. I mean, I could use lightweight, but I'll use metal because it's cheaper just for prettiness sake, and we'll use single blocks so that I don't have to go back and edit anything later. And I'll try and get it in the dead center if I can. Yeah, there we go. And why not put it like directly at the back? Because we're gonna have um, something behind here anyway. So yeah, this block here. Fuel engine. Crankshaft. Cylinder. So this is going to be a fairly effective engine, uh, not effective, sorry, efficient engine, because at the end of the day, um, you know, I don't need to be wasting the material it's carrying. The middle is going to be carrying so much oil, it won't matter. I could just, you know, make it really inefficient and it, it wouldn't blink an eye. But I'm going to do it anyway. Now, uh, engines are no longer exponential, so I've got to bear that in mind while building. There won't be any, like, crazy exponential uh, power increase that there used to be. Okay. So that's our engine so far. Uh, 1,550 power, so let's start putting on carburetors. Now, carburetors work best at low RPMs, uh, which is what I intend on running this engine at. So that works for me. Now, notice I'm leaving the tops of these and the tops of these empty. This is so I can run exhaust to them to try and uh, make sure the heat comes down. So we're getting pretty good efficiency right now and a lot of power. Is that what I think? That's half a million. Pa no, I'm looking at the wrong one. 50,000 power. That's bad. I was like, what? No, that's that's the fuel we've got. We've got a lot of fuel. Um, no, this, this is what I'm looking for in an engine. Okay, superchargers. Right, so, boop. Okay, so now to put the exhaust in. So, this is where it gets complicated. I would like to put in a straight pipe. Here, 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 here. What I think I'll do is I'll just do some of them and then I'll just tile the engine along. Uh, where else do I need to put them in? Uh, all the way up here. Now it's a case of do I take them immediately up the side or do I take them all the way along? I think what I should do is probably take them immediately up the side. For one very simple reason. Um, it'll make it easier to tile. Right, so... Yeah, if I go up here, 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 and check the other side, we should have, right, which means I can then put on a corner pipe. I might end up changing that, but we'll see. So corner pipe, which allows us to feed up here via a straight pipe. Then we can go corner again. Oh, that should be a corner. Sorry. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Like that. So the idea is we'll feed up to the top. And then we'll run pipes along the top. Now the real debate here is how can I attach to these? Because this is already kinking sideways. I 
I don't think I can. I think I'm have to just bring it along here and then around the side. That would suck. Like if there was a again, if there was a four-way connector, I could come from the bottom and go up here, connect here. But I can't. There's only three-way connectors. Like I'm not imagining that. There's only three-way connectors, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, what I'll do for now is I'll just hook all of these up going backwards. So, corner pipe. You'll have to come around the top. I mean, you could go under. Um, frankly, yeah, I'm not averse to you going underneath. Right, so let's do the throughput pipe. Then that would be a straight pipe. It's annoying that you can only place them on one way. I mean, I understand it shows you the which way they're meant to go, but it is annoying. Because sometimes I want to build from back to front. And you guys are pretty much the same deal, except I probably want to connect them. So it's actually going to be throughputs all the way. Throughputs all the way. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Now this bit is annoying because it sticks out. And the only way to really resolve that would be to take off one of these superchargers. Which I wouldn't be massively averse to. I mean, it would knock down the efficiency, but it would make it look just a little bit better. That looks that looks a lot better. Oh, it actually looks like a almost like a proper almost like a proper engine. I mean, I'm not that I'm an expert in engines, but it looks better. Now, in theory, any two section of this should be tileable. So let's put that theory to the test. So I would like um, prefab. And in theory, 155 gas. Ex yes, there we go. That works surprisingly well. Now, there isn't really much purpose in going up to the top. We're not expecting to get shot at. Oh, that works so beautifully. Look at that. But I will take it up to the top. And that'll be a hull pipe. And then block, wood block. It just, it just, just works. You know, I'm kind of digging this engine. Now. Do we want an oil refinery on board? I think the answer to that has to be a hell yeah. Because, well, who doesn't want an oil refinery on board? Apart from Peter and Greenpeace. Like, you know, they've got their reasons. So, we're going to put an oil refinery on board. I'm almost tempted to put the oil refinery below. Uh, we have resources in here, apparently, ticking up. Excellent. Um, like in some sort of underslung resource refinery thing? It's tempting. I don't know, but it is tempting. But it would change the center of mass, although that said, the center of mass is all screwed up anyway. Okay, let's see what we would need. I'm going to turn you off because you shouldn't be overheating. Yeah, it was dangerous gas percentage was like going crazy, crazy high. Yeah, that shouldn't be happening. Because we should have those on the side. Oh, I didn't turn the other one off. That could have been bad. Dangerous gas percentage, 100. Yeah. There we go, turn you back on now. Isn't one of these meant to be like, don't turn it on its side or it will like explode? Let's check, dangerous gas percentage. Yes. Very much so. That's a shame. <laughs> to be fair, should have known that was coming. 
Mid-air fuel refining. I mean, you know, refueling, fine, but refining? It's a dangerous business. Frodo Baggins going out your door. Desalt begins the process. I'll put that there. Coca here. Catalytic cracker here. Let's see how that goes. I mean, it does say that the dangerous gas percentage is zero. But I'm starting to believe that these are maybe the wrong way around. It's the only way I can imagine that, like, that's all zero. It's not using any oil, so I assume that it just isn't producing fuel. Oh, because we deleted some fuel, the fuel must be full. Let's check. How can I check? I can check by just looking at my HUD. That does simplify things somewhat. If I use fuel, however, I don't know, it would just fill up. Right, so this should work. Probably shouldn't leave it as just, oh, it should work, we're going to leave it like that. But hey, I'm feeling a little bit risky today. Right. We need emergency um, air balloons in the top, just in case this thing starts to like take a nosedive. So I would like air balloon, 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 balloon. Hop, air balloon to deploy it. Um, yeah, we can always raise that. Block, wood block, diagonal. So that's our emergency. Oh my god, we need to go up system. Um, we can put jet engines here as a turning system. Should we do that now? Yeah, let's do that now. There we go. Now you just need to set U2 a reverse. I've got this the right way around. Yeah, I have. Thrust reverse. Just to reverse. I'm down to less than half a million fuel. I can put in spare fuel tanks later. It's not a worry. Um, by the way, if this thing gets hit, woohoo, we are having fireworks. Mm -hmm.